Why hello there everyone and welcome back, I'm your host today Mr. Mobile and today I'm going to be showing you how to do the um, cooldown on um, kill thing, kill thing in Among Us and um, I've been getting some complaints in my last one saying uh, you turn purple when it happens, yeah, yeah you do turn purple because um, that's what that thing does. So original, the original one that I done was um, with this guy here, and he well, it's supposed to double your power, but you can change it so it does it gives you zero strength, and that's what I done. But if we start it here and we take this power up, you will see that we start to glow a bit pink. And they were saying, that's just going to tell the crewmate who the imposter is. Well, yes, you would be right about that. I would tell them that it would be the imposter. Now, there's two ways to get around this. You could A, just make everybody purple at the start. Therefore, they would never find out. Or B, you could make a different version. And that's what I'm going to show you today, this different version. Because I actually changed it to this new version on my map as well and um, I don't even know if it works but it should it should work 100% should work so what you need is one, one trigger and two mutators once and that's really all you need to do so you're gonna have your two mutator can I place it please thank you so I'm just gonna do it like this you have that one and we have that one and this one here allow weapon fire no and no this one here though we're going to allow weapon fire. So when we get down here, we're just going to make it a height of 2. That's just so it's in this box as well, so I can test it. Let's use, can I um, place stairs down? Thank you. Um, if we come into here now, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to get a trigger as well. And you should have this from the last episode the team settings and inventory but um if you don't have this you need one of these as well and um make it the team that your imposter is i'm just going to make it team one for this example and um when enemy eliminated by team member transmit on channel one and i'm pretty sure that i don't have anything here i do looks like it goes up to channel five so let's just do channel 150 so when um, the imposter gets killed, it'll transfer on 150. This will trigger when we're seeing from 150. Trigger 40, 149. And also put a delay of however long you want the cooldown to be. So um, once someone kills someone, you want to make it so the no weapons turns on. So enable when we're seeing from 150. Disable when receiving from 149. Now, um, you're going to have to make this so it, um, where is it? This is all changed. So, uh, select a team. So, select team one. And then, instead of all but selected, only selected. So, only affect this person here. And, um, that's all you have to do for that. Oh, yes. And also make it so, um, it's not enabled at game start. Then you want to come up to this one. This one will be enabled at game start, but it will enable on 149 and disable on 150. And then number one, only selected. And that should be it. Now, I don't have anything to kill with that, so um, I'm just going to have to get myself a trigger here. And when I stand on it, it will trigger 150 and um, we'll also get ourselves a sentry and we can spawn the sentry here now I'm um, going to make it so uh, he's got like one health because um, we want this guy to be pretty easy to kill we inject accuracy low, line of sight, and all that there. Okay. 
So this might activate 150 when I take out this guy. I'm not entirely sure. But um, as you see, I can swing. I can deal damage. I don't know if this will work on this guy. Yeah, it doesn't work on him because... Oh wait, no, sorry, sorry, that's not... Um, it's because he isn't in the mutated zone. So um, that's the difference with this. You're going to have to actually make the mutator zone the size of your map. But that's no big deal, I hope, towards most of you. You literally just make this the size that you want. And wham bam, shang a line. You've got yourself a working thingy my baba yay all right everyone so um, i am back i had to change a couple stuff now since it's a sentry it's not going to react the same way as an actual player so i've just made it when he gets eliminated it will transmit on 150 instead but um it will work with this here once you eliminate a player or an enemy then it will trigger it now i um off camera, I just put this down here, just in case, just because, you know, I can't be bothered walking up there, making sure it all works. It's just be easier to do it down here. And you don't need this, this is just to me, because I was testing around to see if it had anything to do with it, but it doesn't. But um, anyway, let's see how this baby works. So, um, once we spawn in here, pretend I am the imposter. There's someone there doing the task. Ooh, bam! Now, you get that wee effect on you, like... But it only stays for like a second or two. But as you see, I'm clicking. As you can hear. And um, I'm not swinging my pickaxe. That is because of this here timer of 30 seconds is going off. So um, as you see, there's no purple glow on me or nothing like that. Just that little blue glow at the start. And, um, and it literally stays there for one second. But after this timer, it might do the blue sparkle again. No, it doesn't. Oh, right, man. So that there is how you do it guys, and um, you can just do it again, you get the wee blue glow, and you can't swing again as you can hear once more. And yeah guys, that there is the better looking version of the kill cooldown, and until then, default dance.